<laughs> well, welcome back, folks. Today we're heading into where are we going? Cape Levique. We're going to Cape Levique to have a look around, and then we're going to go to the Signet Bay Pearl Farm. Today we're we're scabbing a lift off Michael and Kerry in the Higher Prado, and <laughs> we're gonna see if we can make it through these tracks. A little bit bumpy and rocky and rolly. Beautiful but, uh, trees. Ghost We'll go and see what we can find. Some, but you know, <laughs> having uh, cappuccino and cake, blueberry muffins here at Coolgeman at Cape Levique. Having a good time, glad you're not here. I mean, I'm a, I wish you were here. <laughs> Well here we are, we're at Signet Bay Pearl Farm. We're going to have a look around, go on a tour, see what's going on with the pearls and check it out. But the kids have found a pool. They're all nice places. Check out that pool area. The water out there. It's a nice place here, Signet Bay. <laughs> seems to be a good spot for anything to attach to it while it's hanging in the panel. So a lot of sponges and mussels and that sort of thing. It's game over for this fella today. So that's it, so that's the ductum muscle that I just sliced through there. That's it on the other side. You've got the mantle tissue. Under that you've got the gills. So that's your gills there. Down the bottom here, on the, you've got this organ here, which is actually the gonad. And it's where the pearl is actually located. Couldn't tell ya. <laughs> oh, we have... Also, two pearls in this one. Oh, oh, Twins! <laughs> is that rare? It is quite rare. I haven't had one for a long time. Two pearls in the pearl sack, which is very rare. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> oh that's a good size Ooh, one. It's a big one. Oh, oh, wow. That's not a perfectly round one. It's a cheaper one. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably buy the little baby one. This little baby one. Oh. It's quite silver. silver one. How much is that one? <laughs> yeah, so, today, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, you just got to check because you can get also it's just salty. Can you try it? Fresh. How much pressure can you get with that? Not too neat. Mm. So if we were to look at these in terms of price, um, what we'd be starting with would be this one here at 4050 The next strand, of course, would be mine at 8840 um, The next strand is actually a lovely button strand here at 8900 so very, very close to mine. And, of course, the winner today 
This one here, our lovely coloured strand at $18,000. <laughs> As you can see, we found a fella stuck on the beach. Um, you're not meant to be on the beach here, but anyway, we're gonna let his tyres down to 15 psi, uh, hook him up to the back of my car, and see if we can get him out while his missus sits there and watches us. tried a couple of times to get him out with the Max tracks, but that wasn't working too well, so Simo decided a long snatching strap was the go and sucked him right out. Well, Big Simo thought he was going to go get us dinner, but that didn't work out. We went for a drive out to One Arm Point and come across all these little shelters dotted along the beach line. We made it out to the local Troca Shell factory. This factory is open to visitors and they have a few ponds set up with lots of reef fish swimming around. You can get really close to these fish and see what they'd look like out in the wild. to take one of these barra home for dinner. We had an awesome campsite there at Barty. With views like that, who could ask for anything else? What sort of cooking are we doing tonight, Nigel? Camp oven. Camp oven cooking. A couple of spits happening. Some dampers, a birthday cake. Man, she's on. Have a look at the wood on the back. Let's see what the final, uh, the final product looks like. I reckon it'll taste pretty good. You're seriously going to hold on to that? Righto. Down on, son. Riding on the back of the car. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Part two of our cooking expedition. This little fire here is not going to be big enough to cook all the all the food for uh, 15 people here, so just decided to go and collect some rocks from down the foreshore there, make a bit of a windbreak, extend the fire out so we can put a spit across and have about three or four camp ovens going to feed us all. Cook off. Hands off, no trash talk, no backwalk. On the black top, just me, you. Cook on. No cat calls, no tag teams, no mascots. Right now. Cook off. So tonight, folks, everyone's getting their cook on tonight. Having a cook off. I think Simon will probably do better with his rotisserie. 
Rotisserie in the bush. <laughs> We've got the, the beef roast in this one here, and at the moment she's pretty hot beside the fire. But, um, we've got the beef roast there. We've got lamb roast there. Sorry, I made lamb roast, they're both lamb roast, so I've just been told. So, in the camp oven. So, lamb in this one. Lamb in this one, so they're both lamb. Make no mistake, lamb. We'll get the lid on, put some coals on it, and then we'll get it cooking. So we'll, we'll give that about half an hour. And then we'll throw in some veggies and then we'll probably give it another half hour, 45 minutes and then we should be good to go. Just getting ready for me uh, rotisserie, putting a lamb rack on tonight. It's gonna, it's gonna beat the rest, no biased. So another lamb. Yeah, I, I didn't know actually. Um, I've had my lamb thawing out since this morning, so um, I think I think I was the first to choose lamb. Yeah, anyway, we'll do a pork another night. They're having a game of samba over there. But, um, bit of a card night, bit of a roast night. It's Jason's birthday. Jason's 38 today, so congratulations and happy birthday, Jason. Happy birthday to you! Woo! Happy birthday to you! It could be a very long night. Well, I think the roast is nearly ready. So I'm going to check it, and I've got my trusty tools here. We'll get down here, we'll have a look, and we'll see how it is. We've got the... Oh, come over here and have a look at this. We've got our roast buds, pumpkin, oh, the roast. Beautiful. I think it's ready. All jokes aside, this is the end product. The end result of a long and arduous day. <laughs> Got pork roast here with some pumpkin and potato, all done in a camp oven. So the only thing now to do is to t taste test without a fork. Because Razor threw it in the dirt. Mmm, uh. mmm, yeah. That's good stuff. Well, we're on our way heading south down Cape Levique. And we stopped in Beagle Bay to check out the local church. It was built in 1918 and it features a pearl shell altar, which is now a tourist attraction. As you can see, we've lost a water tank. The brace is hanging onto it. Looked like about three mil strapping around the water tank. Lucky it come off when you're slowing down for the river cross, the little creek crossing there, rather than 80 kilometers an hour with someone behind you, mate. 
Anyway, we'll do a bit of panel beat and we'll get her going again and we'll fill her up and we'll get into her. Fair bit of panel beating, actually. <laughs> Ten past eight. Western Australian time, ten past ten, Queensland time. And uh, after a heap of bush mechanic, I suppose. A few ifs and ahs, but we got it back in there and it's all bolted in. But uh, she's in there, new and improved, strong mounts. We'll, um, we'll have a better look at her after she's done a couple of hundred Ks to make sure that she she goes. But at least now we can we can hold water in the camp of where we're going. You don't want to be, don't want to be without water. So now that we've had our bush shower, <laughs> I'll tell you what, they are awesome. Got our bush shower, it's time for a couple of That's these, and one, we'll sit down Good and job, enjoy. Pal. Thank you, sir. Right, well done, mate. Well, we're making our way up the Great Northern Highway. We've got the moon coming up in front of us, and the sun setting behind us. Harry's 40th birthday party at Fitzroy Crossing. Cheers, Mickey! <laughs> Where else would you want to be? Beautiful weather, great pool, great friends, a couple of stubbies. Did you see the nibblies? Have a look around. Even got party lights, the whole lot. <laughs> 